For our worked example, let's calculate what redshift the universe had to be at to create electron-positron pairs. So the idea is you get a photon coming along, and it turns into an electron and a positron, which fly around for a bit, then recombine and produce a photon again. That doesn't happen today, but when the universe was very young, there would have been enough energy for it to happen. The question is, how young? What redshift? So we need energy conservation here. We've got the energy of the photon, and that must be enough to produce the electron and positron. So the mass of an electron, which is the same as the mass of a positron, is 9.1 by 10 to the minus 31 kilograms. The energy needed to create it is just given by E equals mc squared. So multiply this by c squared, where c is the speed of light, 3 by 10 to the 8 meters per second, which gives us, so that's 9.1 uh, up there, which gives us an energy of uh, 1.6 by 10 to the minus 13 joules, which is about a million electron volts. So we need photons with an energy of a million electron volts. Um, I should say there's a times 2 in there because we need to create both an electron and a positron. So it's 2 times this times speed of light squared comes out as that. Now, we know that the energies of photons today is about 10 to the minus 3. So energy is a function of time is 10 to the minus 3 electron volts. But the energy at some time in the past is just that divided by the scale factor at that time. So this implies that we need a scale factor. If we want to get an energy of 10 to the 6 here, we need to have a scale factor A of t equals 10 to the minus 9. 10 to the minus 9 over 10 to the minus 3 gives you 10 to the 6. So the universe is a billion times smaller in every dimension when this reaction took place than it is nowadays. Okay, that's pretty small. What redshift does this correspond to? Well, if you remember, the redshift is equal to 1 minus the scale factor divided by the scale factor. So that's 1 minus 10 to the minus 9, which is 1, close enough, over 10 to the minus 9. So that means we get 10 to the 9. So a redshift of a billion is what we need to create electron-positron pairs. And we can then ask, what's the density at this time? We know that the density is proportional to 1 over the scale factor cubed. Density today is 5 by 10 to the minus 28 kilograms per meter cubed. So divide that by 10 to the minus 9 cubed. So that's 10 to the 9, 9 times 3, 1 times 9, 2 times 18, 2 times 27. So gives us about um, density z equals a billion is about 0 0.5 kilograms per cubic meter. So, yeah, not far off the density of air today. So that's generally how you do these sort of calculations.